Hello and welcome back to Maker's Muse and today we are checking out the 3D printing pack Assemble Yourself and Print Yourself Virtual Reality Headset. What did I think about it? Well, watch to find out. So the idea of cheap virtual reality has got me quite interested over the last few months and you'll be seeing more and more virtual reality products on the Makers Muse channel as I get hold of them. I'm certainly pretty keen to try out some of the new Oculus Rift stuff and all of that, but low-end cheap virtual reality like Google Cardboard is actually arguably even more exciting because it's accessible. And that's the idea behind this virtual reality headset kit. It comes with the lenses, a few nuts and bolts, some strapping, some other parts, but it comes with none of the actual main components because you have to 3D print them. So I've actually had this headset kit for quite a long time and it's taken me a long time to make this review. And hopefully you'll see why. So in terms of printing out the parts, I use the up box and I use eSun brand black ABS. So the parts were well designed. I just downloaded them off their Thingiverse page and printed them out. They need no support and they all printed really quite well. So I took these parts and the rest of the kit with me to Perth when I went there recently for a holiday. And I put them out and I decided to start making it. I hadn't looked at the instructions before and I hadn't looked at anything. I just thought, okay, it'd be a nice casual evening thing to do. Let's assemble this, this headset. Then I got hit with my first disappointment. Glue. You need super glue to assemble this 3D printed headset kit. So for a start, my, my knowledge of 3D printing, super glue never really works quite, never really works well for gluing 3D printed parts together. You need a close surface area to bond and 3D printed parts of an FDM printer rarely have that. And because I printed these on in ABS on the up box, I used a raft and because of that, I couldn't really see how super glue would work and I didn't have any at the time. So I just used a bit of tape and as you see here, the tape had to remain, but anyway, I went on to try to assemble it and pretty much had to give up at that point, put it back in the box and wait till I came back to Sydney. So anyway, I finally had time to get some super glue, this wacky, wacky brand here, uh, and put it together here in Sydney. So the instructions are quite good. They, they're easy to follow, but in terms of the design, there is various aspects to the design of this, this 3D printed headset that aren't very well thought out. The, mo the most important one would be the gluing of it. So if you're 3D printing parts, you have access to almost unlimited geometry and just a few limitations if you're trying to avoid needing support material. Why should you have to glue parts together with super glue if you've 3D printed them? In my opinion, that is just poor design. So yes, I use glue, but because this is printed in ABS, there's a bit of dimensional warping and it didn't really hold it together. So I had to use some tape to put it together. And then there was the next major disappointment, which was the, the foam. So the foam's a nice touch. It comes with the kit and it's meant to make the headset sit on your face more comfortably. It is adhesive backed. So therefore you'd assume that adhesive backed foam would be selected to stick to 3D printed parts. Not so, because it doesn't actually stick to it at all. You also need to apply glue, according to the instructions, to the adhesive backed foam to make it stick in place. Uh, in terms of actually using the device, I'll just show you here. The, the foam sits in here, I can't show you because it's uh, in my pocket, but it sits in here and then folds up like that and the lenses are adjusted with these little tabs that kind of look like eyelashes. And the device does work pretty well. You, you put it on your head like this and using Google Cardboard, it works pretty well. It works pretty well, no real complaints there. The lenses line up nicely. It's not very comfortable for my nose. I have a very sensitive nose. I'm allergic to like everything. And when it sits on my, the bridge of my nose, it, it feels pretty uncomfortable. And no matter how much I tighten it, it's just because of the angle, it doesn't sit all that nicely. Another thing I noticed is this bit of, bit of Velcro here. It's not in the instructions, it's just in the kit. And I think that's because I realized that with these nuts, you know, your phone's in here, you need somewhere to secure it. Again, this should be in the 3D printed design. It shouldn't be a bit of Velcro added at the end. It should be a latch there. There's no reason at all there couldn't be an interference fit here. 
but again, there's not. So, where does that leave us with this 3D printed pack virtual reality kit? Well, at the moment it's $10 US for all the parts, then you 3D print the design. I think the parts are worth it. I think that's a decent pr price to pay for the lenses. They're quite nice, quite plush, elastic, and the, the fasteners. But I think the actual 3D design itself needs serious work to actually be worth printing out. Another small thing I picked up on, I would like the idea of the, the headphone jack to be accessible. You know, if you're using virtual reality headsets, I want the ability to have headphones as well to really immerse myself. And with this design, it's not sure I could hit it on a Tinkercad and modify it myself, but most people won't be wanting to do that. They're wanting to print off the parts and just use them. But it's not all too bad. I mean, you could just go onto Thingiverse and download one of the countless better looking virtual reality kits and just use the lenses and the, the strapping from this one because it is, it is all a nice pack. It does come nicely packed. Unfortunately, again, the design just wasn't up to standards in my opinion. So there you have it guys. That is my review of the 3D printed pack virtual reality headset. Again, as I said, virtual reality really does have my interest and you'll be seeing more virtual reality products on this channel. Uh, definitely let me know in the, in the comments of other ones you'd like me to check out because again, I'm very new to this. I did notice that Google Cardboard, you can buy a Google Cardboard kit for like 10 bucks or less delivered. Uh, and I'm gonna got, probably buy one of those to compare it against something like this and see really if the printing the parts is actually really even worth it in the first place when you could just use cardboard. If you wanna see future 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, I do reviews, tutorials, tips and tricks, news, all sorts of stuff in the 3D printing and uh, tech space. Please do feel free to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And also don't forget to check out my Patreon, it's completely optional. I will continue making content for free regardless, but I have some goals in there to, to bring you some better, more professional content by buying more tools. And if you're interested, definitely check it out. I'll see you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later. Thank you.